Hi, folks. Welcome to Crisco's Corner. Unfiltered commentary. And that's your truth, the real truth. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for your support. Hi, folks. Welcome back to Crisco's Corner. The Washington Examiner. Documents detail Wilde alleged $25 million Gates extortion scheme. Now, this is the damnedest, oddest congressional story slash drama. I don't know what the hell is going on here. Let's read on because he was on Tucker last night, Matt Gates, and even Tucker said that was the weirdest interview I ever did, and it wasn't a shot against the congressman. It was, it was unbelievable, uh, weird. Even if any of this is true, it's the damnedest thing I ever saw. It's a long article. I'm not going to read it all, but we're going to go over it a little bit here. Representative Matt Gates possesses text messages, screenshots, an email, and a typed document that purportedly support his claim that a federal investigation into his relationship with a 7 year related to an extortion scheme against him. On Tuesday, the New York Times reported the Justice Department is investigating whether Gates had a sexual relationship with a 17-year-old and paid for her travel with him. Gates has called the report totally false. Gates told Axios that his lawyers told him that he was not a target but a subject of an investigation regarding sexual conduct with women. Now, here supposedly goes the story. This is Congressman Gates' side of it. Congressman Gates' father was approached and said, there's an investigation in your son from the DOJ. We want $25 million, and we can help it go away. This is from an ex-DOJ employee, supposedly. Mr. Gates, the congressman's father, went to the FBI. He said, listen, I'm being extorted through my son. They're claiming there's an underage woman, girl, that had sex with my son. And they're saying, if I pay this money, it will go away. And maybe even the president, meaning Biden, I would assume, will pardon him. It's bizarre. So the FBI set up a wire a surveillance, like a recording device on the, on the father to meet with the people. Supposedly, the story goes that that leaked out in the FBI which alerted people in the DOJ and then either a former DOJ employee got a hold of a current DOJ employee or somebody leaked to the New York times that this investigation was going on, knowing that the whistle was blown and they had to cover themselves. That's why the wiretap and the surveillance didn't take place. Mr. Guts, the Congressman's father was working with the FBI to catch these guys. These guys say, well, it's not exactly true. There is allegations against Congressman Gates. It's the damnedest thing I ever saw. And they said they leaked the info to the New York Times because of the fact they were trying to cover their own behinds because the gig was up. I don't know. And here's, that's the sad part. If that leak was timed on purpose, of course, it looks like it was, to thwart the meeting with the wire, uh, the wiretap or recording device that Mr. Gates was going to carry, it did it. And now it puts a cloud on the congressman and his family indirectly. What's true and what's not? And that's the sad part. If this leak actually caused all this pressure to put on Congressman Gates and he's completely innocent, then the bad guys win again. Even if he's found innocent, the bad guys win again. This is nuts. The Florida Republican countered the report on Twitter and in statements to Axios and Fox News with a claim that his family is being extorted. An investigation was relationship with women are the people extorting him and the subject of an FBI extortion investigation over the last few weeks. The FBI did confirm that Mr. Gates, the congressman's father, came to the FBI and is working with them to catch these guys that are doing the extortion. The documents of Gates' possession detail alleged 
scheme that revolves around attempts by former Air Force intelligence officer Bob Kent and Beggs and Lane attorney David McGee, that's the guy he named on Tucker, a former federal prosecutor, to free ex-FBI agent turned private investigator Robert Levinson from imprisonment in Iran. And they were going to use the money supposedly to get him out. Or uh, It's a crazy, this is a crazy shot. It's a crazy story. Uh, let's move on. They talk about Levinson. Proof of life videos are trying to get this guy out of Iran and the government, the, the U.S. government stopping him. And then, I don't know, the map. The father met with Ken and handed him a three-page document outlining Project Homecoming. The document detailed a plan to save Levinson the cost of twenty-five at a twenty-five million dollar loan, and it gets weirder and weirder. And then it became an extortion thing. You know, President Biden issued a presidential pardon or instructed Department of Justice to terminate any and all investigation involving Congressman Gates. The reports read, "It's." Stop the video, read the letter here. It's uh, it's crazy. I don't know what the hell's going on here. And it also implied the White House had some kind of knowledge of the plan. Now, I am not a huge Joe Biden fan. I'm a Trump supporter. But I don't see any evidence of that. Who the hell knows? It's, it's a damnedest thing I ever saw. Let's read on. It's not coming in too clearly, but here's some, here's some other letters. And here we go. Here, here's some of the proof that Congressman Gates, Assistant U.S. Attorney David Goldberg, responded, I can confirm that your client is working with my office as well as the FBI at the government's request in order to determine if a federal crime had been committed, i.e. the extortion. This has been discussed with and approved by the FBI as well as the leadership of my office and the components of Maine Justice. The Department of Justice and FBI declined to comment on the email the existence of an extortion investigation. Neiman also declined to comment, well, they'll always decline to comment on an ongoing investigation. And there's the, the text there in the letter. It just is nuts. Gates on Fox News Tuesday and I said his father wore a wire in order to assist with the case, and he demanded that the Department of Justice and the FBI release the audio recordings that were made under their supervision and that the direction which will prove my innocence. Yeah, he's got a good point. Was there some rogue people in the DOJ? I mean, there's rogue people in every department. I'm not putting the DOJ down and telling them they're all, they're all uh, you know, crazy people and blah, 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 and they hate Matt Gates because of the fact that he, he's ultra conservative and a big Trump supporter. I don't believe all of that, but I can believe there can be some bad eggs. There could be some bad actors in there, ex and, and now current. He suspects that a leak to the New York Times story about the investigation of whether he had a relationship with a 17 year old was time to thwart the FBI investigation into extortion. Yeah, I can see that very easily happening. Say someone's a former DOJ employee, he's doing the extortion, he's got buddies in the DOJ who has buddies in the FBI, and he finds out indirectly that they're going to wear a wire and catch them, they've leaked this out. Yeah, I can see that covering your own behind and trying to push this as far as you can. The former Department of Justice official tomorrow was supposed to be contacted by my father so that specific instructions could be given regarding the wiring of $4.5 million as a down payment on this bribe gate said. I don't think it's a coincidence that tonight somehow the New York Times is leaking this information, smearing me and ruining the investigation that will likely result in one of the former colleagues of the current DOJ being brought to justice for trying to extort me and my family. The 17 year old in question doesn't exist, Gates said, adding that he had not a relation he'd had not had a relationship with a seventeen year old. That's totally false. This is crazy as hell. This is crazy as hell. Ah, I, I don't think it's anything to do with Biden. Does it have anything to do with it? just one crazy rogue DOJ employee or all of this is true? And that's the sad part, like I said earlier. By leaking this out, it's like, you know, uh, accusing somebody of being a child molester and it makes it on page one. And then two weeks later after the investigation, you find out that it's all BS. 
And that's printed on page 17 or nobody can see it. And therein lies the problem. Now he has to defend himself if he's innocent for something he never did. And he tried to get extorted. Or if it's true, which I doubt very much, frankly, but you know, who am I to say? If it's true, then why do they try to extort him for money? That's just as evil, too. I don't know. I really don't. It's the damnedest thing I ever saw. It's um very, very bizarre. And we'll see where it goes. My gut tells me no one will go to jail. There'll be a lot of questions asked. Some people will disappear, and I don't mean killed disappear. Will just disappear for a while. And this will be another little story that people chuckle about. Now they're talking about taking him off his committees in Congress. I, I mean, I don't know what's going on. I really don't. Is this about politics or just simply, uh, uh, you know, an ass hat? That's a former DOJ employee. I know Congressman Gates' father, uh, they got quite a bit of money, but even still, I don't, I don't get this at all. So we're going to see what happens. But, you know, it's funny. The presumption of innocence that has to be upheld. This has to be upheld. Period. It's, um, it's bizarre. Anyway, we'll see how it turns out. But I want to get a rough idea of the outline. Hopefully I was a little clearer than a lot of the stories. And MSNBC, of course, in the in the progressive lamestream media saying Matt Gates fumbled and mumbled on Tucker Carlson. I saw the interview live. He didn't mumble and fumble. He spoke very clearly and very distinctly. Denied it emphatically and said the girl doesn't even exist. So who the hell knows? We shall see. And until next time, folks, goodbye and good luck.